Hey everyone, welcome back to Linux Network. Today we have some exciting news. Linux Lite 7.4 RC1 is here. If you've been looking for a lightweight, user-friendly Linux distro, or you're just curious about what's new, stick around because we're diving deep into this release. So what's new in Linux Lite 7.4 RC1? Let's break it down. Before we jump into the updates, let's quickly cover what Linux Lite is. Linux Lite is a lightweight, beginner-friendly Linux distribution based on Ubuntu's long-term support release. It's designed to be easy to use, especially for those switching from Windows. With a simple interface, pre-installed essential software and great performance on older hardware, it's one of the best options for Linux newcomers. And now, version 7.4 is here in its RC1 stage, which means it's available for testing before the final release on April 1st, 2025. Linux Lite 7.4 is considered a minor release, that means no massive overhauls or drastic changes, but rather small improvements, bug fixes and software updates that make the system smoother and more reliable. Even though it's a minor release, there are still some noteworthy changes. So let's go through them. Linux Lite comes with its own set of tools that make life easier. Two of these, Lite Updates and Lite Info, have been improved in this release. These tools help users keep their system updated and provide useful system information. If you've ever booted into Linux Lite Live Station, which means running it from a USB drive without installing it, and found that Google Chrome wouldn't open, good news, that issue has been fixed, so now you can browse right away. The latest version of LibreOffice 25.2 is now included, so you'll get all the newest features and bug fixes in this powerful free office suite. Linux Lite has refreshed its icon theme, giving the system a cleaner and more modern look. By default, Linux Lite uses for its window theme Materia, for its icon theme Papyrus, and for fonts Roboto Regular. This means your desktop will not only be lightweight, but also visually appealing. For those who love customization, the Whisker menu, which is the main application menu in Linux Lite, has received some great improvements. Here are some highlights. You can now resize the menu from any side by simply dragging it, making it more flexible for different screen sizes. Auto-starting launchers are now supported, which means you can set applications to launch automatically. They've improved keyboard navigation so you can now move through the menu more smoothly. Fixed issues like the menu not centering properly or the search text getting replaced unexpectedly. More translation updates for different languages, making it even more accessible worldwide. These small but important tweaks make the Linux Lite experience smoother and more polished. A common issue with Lite Upgrade was that it showed some unnecessary syntax errors. These errors didn't actually break anything, but they were annoying to see when running updates in the terminal. With this update, those errors are gone, and the upgrade process runs cleanly now. This makes system updates a hassle-free experience. If you're thinking about installing Linux Lite on your Windows PC, you may wonder about UEFI and Secure Boot. If you want to check if your PC has UEFI, you can do this by pressing the Windows plus R key to open RUN. Type msinfo32 into RUN and click OK to open system information. In the right side of system summary, in system information, See if the BIOS mode item has a value of legacy or UEFI. Look for BIOS mode. If it says UEFI, then your system is using UEFI. If it says legacy, then it's using the older BIOS mode. Linux Lite supports Secure Boot, but unless you know exactly how to configure it, it can be frustrating. For a stress-free experience, it's recommended to disable Secure Boot before installing Linux Lite. Now that we've covered the changes, here's why you may want to give Linux Lite 7.4 a shot. Being lightweight and fast is perfect for older computers. If you're switching from Windows, it's a great starting point. It comes with updated software, the latest LibreOffice, bug fixes and improved tools. It has an improved menu, updated icons and visual tweaks. It's stable and reliable based on Ubuntu LTS, meaning long-term support and security. If you don't want to test the RC1 version, you can wait for the final release, which is coming April 1st, 2025. So that's everything you need to know about Linux Lite 7.4 RC1. What do you think about this update? Are you excited to try it out? Let me know in the comments. 
And as always, if you found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.